Hello everybody and welcome back to PGR Brusda. Welcome back to the farm of the fish. And of course the bees. So yeah, today what we're going to be doing is building a brand new section to our factory. It's going to be the smokehouse, which basically is what it says on the tin. It smokes fish. So to do this we require fish, obviously, and also some wood for the smoking. So it isn't actually too labour intensive at all. But, of course, we don't have the area set up just yet, so we're going to have to concrete some more of this ground, this grass, and we're going to be able to expand it probably behind the caviar farm just behind us. So, um, yeah, first things first, I do actually have some fish, some live fish and some frozen fish in a crate. We need the live fish, first of all, for the caviar. Oh, here we go again. Just try and line this up properly. There we go. Yeah, always makes a difference if you can actually get it on the forks. And this just goes into one of the triggers over here. And it's actually quite astonishing how fast the caviar is produced once you've got the fish here. So there we go. We should have a full crate of caviar very soon. It'll be maybe £15,000 worth. Very decent money. Um, but yeah, first of all, what we need to do is just turn this off get the Massey Ferguson tractor started up and we need to get the roller, the ground modification mod going to get the ground levelled and sorted out ready for the brand new building. So I think the trailer can actually stay here but I put it in a position where it's not actually blocking these water tankers. That should be good and then all we have to do is locate the roller which is somewhere around here. Here it is so most of this, as usual, is going to be done off screen because we've already done quite a bit of the ground modification. So it's nothing special as such. Um, it's a very good mod, but of course we've shown it quite a bit. So we need to actually focus on the production of the buildings and of course the farm as well. So yeah, we want to remove the grass. We've got it currently set to gravel, which it doesn't want to be. It wants to be concrete, which is what this area is currently. Uh, it's always the furthest one away. There we go. Right, so I think if we just continue from where we left off, um, it might even fit into this area here. To be honest, I don't actually know how big this building is. It's quite hard to tell from the screenshot, but I would say that would be perfectly adequate. So we'll make a nice sharp edge instead of putting the curve on like I've done before, we'll make it neater. And well, I did mention the fence before. We could put a fence in or we could put a hedge in, if it's possible to put hedges in as a placeable. Um, anything which just makes it look a bit neater, because at the moment it is just, well, you can tell how open it is compared to the bee farm, it's, it's much neater. And talking about the bee farm, actually we do need to waste some money today. Yes, we need to sell the uh, beehive production uh, factory, because uh, it's totally in the way for the forklift. So it's a shame, it's a shame you can't just move stuff in Farming Simulator, but you can't. You have to sell it and then rebuy it, which is a big shame. Uh, but it's just one of those things, it needs to be done, otherwise we can't really pick up the pallets too easily. Now we don't have to go right up to this uh, pole. We'll keep quite a bit of grass around it. There we go. And yeah, I'll see you in a second. Well there we go, it's looking a bit more industrial than it was before. Not so nice, but it's all for a good cause. The smoking of fish. <laughs> if you can call that a good cause. Oh well. Uh, yes, it needs to be done, so it's just another way of us making more money. And apparently it is actually quite a good way of doing that. Now what I'm going to do is just change this back to original uh, texture, original ground, so we can lower it down without any issues. Turn the engine off. I don't think that track is going to be required again. Can't see why it would be. Unless, of course, this isn't a big enough area. We will soon find out. It's interesting. Is that full? That may be full. Anyway, this must be done. I haven't checked the price, I've literally just downloaded it and added it to the mods folder. So it could be um, a bit out of our price range, but it shouldn't be. It is this one here, 10 pounds. That seems remarkably cheap. <laughs> 10 pounds for a building. Well, as long as we've got enough space around it, which I think we will do with that, then it should be fine. It's like a very interesting place. Uh, very interesting indeed. How is this going to work? 
floating. It is floating. That ground is definitely level. So, oh no, no it isn't. Obviously it's detected this piece here to be level and continued it on. So again, it's just unfortunate. Hello, what's going on? There is a man up to tree. Have you lost your cat? I'm climbing up the ladder with you. And that is pulling the frame rate down. What have you seen? <gasps> it's the sky. And I don't know what you're looking at. But still, here is the smoked fish. We must get the ingredients we require to get this working. I would have thought it would be frozen fish, not a live fish. So we do actually have some. I should get off this trailer. I'll get the, uh, the forks tilted correctly this time as well. Or maybe not. But yeah, at least we can pick it up. Okay, we have possibly some of the ingredients required. I really can't see why it would take a live fish. That seems to be just for caviar. Um, but the issue is, which side is the intake of fish? That looks like the wood area. So I would guess that this side over here is for the fish. But we will see. Is this for it? It is, good. Um, and you can see that we've got a thousand litres, I'm guessing it's working it out in. Although it probably should be kilograms. We have a thousand kilograms of fish. When we do the wood, we'll also get the wood for the bee, uh, the bee farm over there. Because we're going to need some more. When we sell this building, which we should probably do in a second, it's going to actually wipe the amount of wood we have in there. Now, I suppose what you could say is a sensible thing to do would be to let it all run out first, let it all be used, uh, but that could be some time and also it's a bit of a hassle leaving it there, since we can't get to the pallets, as you have no doubt seen in previous videos. So I think probably when it's done the final hive, we'll get it sold. Uh, hopefully Mr. Happy is transferred over to the new one. We can't do without Mr. Happy. Yep, that has got a little bit of progress um, to go. And it does have 3,000 litres of wood. These are all, well, that one's full. Most of them are full, actually. So, yeah, it's now wasting money. Because if they're not filling up, we're not making money. So, I might have to speed up time. Oh, great. Hailing. Good, that'll do. And I think this is for this one here. So, in you go. It should be three. Yep, three. Perfect. So yeah, goodbye, uh, beehive production plant. You're going to have to find a new home. This could be tricky, because uh, I don't know exactly where to put it, but I'm sure we'll be able to find somewhere. And of course, I must sell the correct one, otherwise that's not going to go down too well. That one there. We get half the money back, which isn't too impressive. But I suppose you just have to knock it down and then start again. So it's just the way it all works. Let's buy this very expensive place and put it somewhere which isn't going to be in the way. Is there space here? It would make sense for it to be somewhere with the rest of these buildings. Um, we may have to expand that concrete though. Although actually that might be okay. Because we don't need to get around the side where the Manitou is. So yeah, if I put it there, I'm hoping it's going to be good. You can see this is all open now. The building has gone. This can turn into uh, concrete. Getting my C's and the T's the wrong way around. That's good. That is very good. And the good thing about this particular mod, I'm not saying these aren't good, these are very good indeed, but it can actually cater to uneven ground, which means that if you don't put it on flat ground, it doesn't sort of float. The concrete gets deeper, which makes it very discreet. So, yeah, top work. Here he is, waiting for work. Can you hear me? We can hear you, but I think you're a robot. Good. Okay, so um, we'll finish off over here. I think if we put some more concrete down but then have the edge here as grass maybe even some trees it'll make it look much nicer so that actually turns out that we do need to have the Massey Ferguson tractor again 
since we're going to be doing some more ground modification. But first, I think I'm just going to do a very quick off-screen session of moving these because as soon as these are moved, the production of the honey can continue. We would be effectively wasting money if I don't move these first. So I'll see you in a second. Right, there we go then. The final two pallets just being lifted up here. Hopefully the top one doesn't fall off. I'm sort of stacking them roughly on this trailer. Since the cell point isn't too far away, I think a ratchet strap would do. Even though, yeah, this looks pretty atrocious. But still, it's going to be some good money for us, so it doesn't really matter how it's stacked. Although that probably isn't quite the attitude to have. Uh, but there we go. That is done. So, we need to go over to the Massey Ferguson tractor. I'm just going to part this out of the way. Um, as you can see on the track, there'll be no passing trade. And we'll go over here. Can we get this uh, blizzard to stop? There we go, that's much nicer. The only issue is, of course, more time has just passed. But that should make the caviar production um, very close to completion. If not, if I think it is, 3,000 litres is completion. So that needs to be sold. Potentially thousands and thousands of pounds there. We need to go over here. Um, yeah, didn't think we'll be using it again, but we are, and actually, we could put a road across there, but maybe too many roads is just going to make this a bit of a maze, so we'll just stick with this one, although it does need to be diverted, in fact, yeah, good point, it needs to be diverted, we'll remove the gravel track from here, and it can go around it, the mud is just way too mucky. Every machine that goes near here gets messed up. So I would say if we turn pretty much level with the dirt track, then it's going to make things much, much neater. Right, so yeah, here we go. We've got the gravel selected. We'll deviate instantly. Uh, it's still a bit muddy, actually, just there. It's also a bit of a slippery, slidey, messy mess, but it will do just for the time being. Now we need concrete. If only it was quite so easy to lay some concrete, it would make life easy for many people. Just get a roller and the concrete will be applied. Okay, so it doesn't have to be too much of an area just so that we can turn the forklift, and these forklifts actually do really turn on the spot, they're very good. So maybe just a tiny bit more just to confirm that there is enough space. Of course we'll have to have enough space for a tractor and a trailer, so we can't leave it too tight. That will be fine, but I might just put a curve on the entrance too. Since that is a fairly tight entrance. better. Okay, so what we need to do now finally is choose grass. Let me just lift it up so it doesn't change the texture. We want some kind of grass. That'll do. It doesn't have to be the same as what it was before. It just wants to be yeah, that kind of thing. It's more of a lawn. Very nice indeed. Clearly this bee farm does have a lot of respect for their land. You need to keep it nice and presentable. All it needs now is some stripes. Done! With the exception of some weeds, but that will do. We have another episode to do this weekend, obviously. I think what we're going to be doing in that episode is wood, forestry. We need to be able to get plenty of wood to fill up the beehive factory and also the smoking area. Um, because if we don't have the wood for the fish smoking, basically, the fish can't be smoked. So that is something we have to do. I'm not really too rushed about it anyway because um, we need to be able to get some more frozen fish anyway. So before we have the frozen fish, um, the production won't get very far. This could be another full crate, I'm not too sure. It could well be. I'll bring the fall lift over one more time today. We'll sell the caviar and we'll check on these two crates just here. We can test drive the new gravel track if we can see anything. Yeah, that is definitely better. But like I say, it is still just encroaching into the mud. It's 
surprisingly muddy area. First things first, the live fish, because this will go over to the caviar if it's full. If it's not full, I won't bother. No point. Um, okay. It is full, wow. I've only just taken the previous pallet. It's obviously because we skipped some time. I suppose we should check on the water as well. Um, oh, it's plenty. Plenty of corn, plenty of water. That keeps the fish area very easy. Um, next we've got the frozen fish. Just behind me. This must be full too. They were both moved at the same time. Yep. And that can go over here. fish and wood to create smoked fish very interesting mod it really is but yeah there we go that goes into there and finally we have got this packet of caviar a crate full of packets I reckon it is 100% if it's not it's 75 let's see how close my guess is um, I'm hoping it's full because it would be really good if it is but I know it does take a while to fill and it does require quite a bit of fish. Okay, it did flash up. 93%. Okay, I got it wrong, but okay. It's good enough. Let's go. We must get tons of money for this. It's not too far to go. Um, I think it's going to be about 15,000, but clearly I do get stuff wrong. So it's going to be very interesting to see. It's worth a guess. If you want to guess in this very short period of time while we're driving up here, please do. What do you think it's going to be worth? Here it goes. It's selling. It is selling. It's a decent rate. Wow, I think I got it wrong at 15,000, that's for sure. Just a little bit. Yep, I got that totally wrong. It must have been per 1,000 litres. Because we just got £55,484 for that one crate, and it wasn't even full. So I did say, I did say this was going to be a multi-million pound business in the end. And that is definitely going the right way about it. So, uh, yeah, I have very high hopes for this. This series will end when we're multi-millionaires. I probably shouldn't have just said that, because we may never get that far, and then this series will never end. But still, it's a good series, it's a good map so I'm not worried. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We're going to leave it here. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.